am continually shocked that I'm still part of the Walking Dead world. You know, Negan in particular, um, how he came into this universe in killing the people that he killed. I didn't see a long shelf life for him. And I'm very, very surprised that I'm doing a spinoff now with, with Maggie, with Lauren's character, um, being as I killed her husband. There were a couple ways that it may have happened when we got near the end of The Walking Dead. And when this idea came up for this story for Jeff and I, and with the way that the show serves so many different storylines and for us to get to unpack something so potent in a different show just felt like a really cool story and a really cool opportunity. It's definitely not a love story. Um, there is a lot of tension. Uh, I think we're, we're working as a team out of a necessity. I think fans will be interested to see how these two unlikely people are in the same place for a sustained amount of time. The, the major difference um, between Dead City and Walking Dead is the, the one we're in Manhattan. We've never really kind of explored an urban setting, so to be able to bring the zombie apocalypse into New York City is sort of spectacular. I miss a lot about being in Georgia. I mean, there's a certain character, there's like a a hug to the to the forest and the environment and even the sound of the bugs and these things that really become a part of this sort of intangible part of what you're doing and um, you have to find those again when you go somewhere else and luckily that leads into and informs the discomfort of the characters going to New York City. We were filming kind of in this bubble and I missed that crew and that cast and we were a family. I think both of us had trouble um, working without everybody. Um, because there we are still playing the same characters and, and in the same world. And it felt odd doing it without the, the usual faces that we saw every single day for forever. The, the fans for this show are some of the best fans in the world. And they've been very generous, even when they don't like my character. I went to get ice cream with my friend. It was like really, really busy. And there's like a lot of young people and families and everything. And the guy behind the counter, so he looked up and he went, are you? Like this, and I went. And it was my favorite interaction I ever had, because he and I had this totally silent conversation of just like the looks and the thing and the ice cream and the, it was just really sweet, you know, I got extra sprinkles.